What's up, y'all? Uh, with today's story, we're going to talk about Mark Hamill. I know he's a favorite of you guys, Star Wars fans, maybe some Joker fans out there. And yeah, we all know that he's uh, not necessarily the brightest on some of these social uh, subjects, some of these political uh, uh, subjects. And there is an overall theme here uh, that I do want to discuss. But let's go through it. He had some interesting things to say, and he sent a video to the 11th annual uh, National Vigil for all victims of gun violence. And it was hosted by the Newton Action Alliance. And uh, this is what he said. He said, hello, everyone. I'm Mark Hamill. I'm sorry I can't be with you in person to share this message. <clears throat> Excuse me. Still getting over this sickness, y'all. He says, but I wanted to express my deepest condolences for your losses uh, due to the tragedy of gun violence. In America, we are the greatest country in the world. But we also have the greatest gun problem in the world. No other nation comes close. That is a lie. When you look at the per capita numbers in terms of gun violence in other countries, um, America is not actually first there. But now he flat out lies. This is what he said. He said nearly 50,000 Americans die from gun violence every year. And guns have become the number one killer of children and teens. That latter point is just a flat out lie. The one before is more of a <sighs> lie by omission, uh, if you will, because like almost half of those, I think over half of those, uh, did it say it in this article? Yes, actually more than half of those are attributed to uh, a suicide, uh, first and foremost. But also that latter half is just simply not true as citing uh, bad data where he's trying to, I mean, just think about this logically. Do you think the number one killer, considering all the vast majority, like these vast uh, diseases and whatnot, uh, sicknesses and illnesses, that firearms are, is the number one killer of children and teenagers? Like, and they go over some data. If you want to go look at this article in Blaze, they talk about uh, some of the data uh, 100,000 United States, 32nd in gun. So he just flat out line on, uh, on, on many of these subject matters. But that's the thing that I think is worth talking about. Not a new subject. People that watch me when I would talk about this type of stuff on my show for Canon's sake, I think it's something that particularly non-leftists need to take seriously. A lot of your heroes, a lot of the people that you've built up, uh, maybe they built themselves up in some cases. Whatever the case may be, cultural icons, they are now using the power that you've given them uh, by just simply liking their material, whatever it may be, paying for it, to lie. Uh, and, and, you know, gun rights, uh, I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of that, of that, uh, of the term. Uh, I use it, but, you know, every individual, of course, I am going to believe that is a God given right to, for them to be able to uh, protect themselves. And you guys know me, I'm a big gun owner myself. So anytime I, this is a non negotiable subject matter, all gun laws are infringements, uh, non negotiable for, for me on this subject matter. And the fact that there's a bunch of guys that are generally protected by folks as such want to make it more difficult for uh, uh, regular individuals to be able to protect themselves uh, It's criminal as far as I'm concerned. But, with that being said, I think that's the part that folks need to pay attention to, okay? Uh, and, and and why folks need to start moving a little differently with the heroes it is that they prop up. It's not to say, and I think this is happen, happening organically, but it's not to say that you just can't like someone that disagrees with you on a political subject. Maybe big ones like this, uh, you know, you can make that decision for yourself. But the point it is that I'm making is that folks need to, and they are, to their credit, are paying more attention to the folks it is that they prop up. And I think this is why the transparency aspect, as well as just uh, people are paying more attention in general to who they're giving their money to, because the last person you want to be is the folks that's fawning over this individual or giving this person money, and then they use that status it is that they have been given to then go advocate things uh, that are antithetical to what it is that you believe in or antithetical it is to the rights that you have. Okay. Mark Hamill's notorious for this. He's certainly not the other, uh, only one. I think 2016, especially 2015 made a lot of people crazy because if you know what happened and uh, yeah, there's no turning around from that. They kind of let the cat out the box, whatever you want to call it, whatever analogy, metaphor, whatever you want to use. Nonetheless, more people are realizing that they have been uh, 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 loving folks that actually hate them. 
And uh, it seems like every other month or so, Mark Hamill's saying something stupid. And I get it. Right. It was once upon a time. This stuff didn't even matter because you didn't know about it. Really, these people didn't kind of do themselves in. But again, something happened in 2016. And now people feel like they have to fall over the, uh, uh, themselves to just let everybody know what their political positions are on given topics. That's the, they're free to do that. Of course, hell, you can make the argument. That's a good thing. I'd rather them tell me who it is that they are. It's no longer buried in some like uh, magazine article. People are just telling uh, on themselves. But I will also th- I, I just believe that there was a. Uh, people took it upon themselves to, to because of what happened in 2016 to let everybody in on what it is their positions are. So it was an acceleration there. Uh, but people that just should be paying, and they are paying more, more attention to that because mm, why would I, hell, would I want to be prop at all? This is the greatest guy. He's awesome. Yeah, I get it. You want to separate that. But no, nah, th- th- those days are behind us, uh, beyond us. In fact, I'd argue that being very nonchalant about this stuff was what did non this in culturally in the first place because whereas to the left they don't play that game this is what old cancellation thing came from they find out that you among their ranks they will get you up out of there whereas the the folks on the other side are a little more forgiving um and not as involved in the cultural sort of stuff and the arts and all that and you see kind of how that's backfired because now you don't have really any footprint really anywhere um, outside of the realm of politics. And remember, as even Breitbart once said, you know, politics on the downstream of culture. Change the culture, you change the politics by default. But either way, Mark Hamill's an idiot. I mean, let's just, let's just get that out the way. Alpha Core Number One's pre order is live. Written by the legendary Chuck Dixon and penciled by Joe Bennett, visit Ripperverse.com to grab a copy and any of the merchandise items. Be sure to also check out the animated trailer for the campaign, which is the latest project from Ripperverse Studios. Y'all be easy.